Hey friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping in. So tonight I wanted to share with you this super fun project. So I did this bangle and it turned out adorable. So I used a mold that I got off of Amazon. I'll link that mold in the description. And now the one thing I did do with this, if you can see, I've got some space up here. So I was doing this for my daughter. I'm going to keep this one and redo another one for her because you can see, you know, here it's all the way in the end. I'm not sure if I didn't push it all the way down to the end and not realize it or if it slid back up. I have a feeling that I may have not pushed it all the way in and didn't realize it. So, you know, definitely make sure that you're lining up to your bottom, you know, because I do have that little space in there. But otherwise, it's really, really cute. And you can see it turned out so cute. I absolutely love it. So if you're interested, I'll attach the video of making it. And yeah, I really like it. So anyways, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. I hope that it, you know, is something that you like, gives you some inspiration. I hope you had a blessed and beautiful weekend. I hope you had a great start to your New Year's friends. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and tomorrow I'll be putting up a video on a um, Tumblr giveaway. Thank you guys so much for your support and yeah, so keep watching and I'll attach the video to make this. I hope you like it. I'll see you later friends. Bye. Okay, so to make this bracelet, I put my photos together in Design Space using my Cricut. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, you can use whatever program you want with your computer. This is just what works for me. Now, I did put them in and do the print and cut because for me, that was just the easiest way to do it. I lined them all up, attached them, and then I measured and made them the size that I wanted them to be. I printed it, and then instead of using my Cricut though to cut it, I decided that I would just use this little cutter because it was just as easy. So I did go through and just sort of cut all my sides and everything. And now I'm using a laminator. So I put it inside the piece of laminating paper or plastic, and then I'm gonna cut it down to where it's just, you know, barely covering it. Now I have a laminator. I bought it at Sam's for like $14.99. But if you don't have that handy, you can use also like packing tape. Just make sure you use kind of like some sturdy tape. And the reason I say that because it allows it to sit up a little bit easier in the bracelet. That's why I chose to use the laminator. So then I'm just gonna, you know, stick it through the little laminator here, super easy to do. And again, you know, if you don't have a laminator, just put packing tape. Now, if you're using packing tape, you do want to do both sides, front and back, just like you would be doing if you were using the laminator. And this is going to protect your paper, your pictures. It's going to give you this flexible but still sturdy piece to be able to just put in there. And it's going to protect your pictures actually so that you don't have to seal them. Now, after I kind of fit it in my bracelet, I realized that I needed to trim it up a little bit. So that's what I'm doing. I end up just using scissors because it's such a small amount that I need to cut that this doesn't really cut it very well. I thought it would be good so that it would be nice and even, but my scissors ended up being, you know, the better option. Now, after you cut this and you're setting it up in your bracelet, make sure that you got it 
you know, fit down in there, like nice and even, because that's how I ended up with the piece that was sort of a little bit lopsided, a little up on the right hand side of my bracelet. So just make sure that you put it in nice and even. And with this, I use my two part epoxy. So I use the Pro Marine epoxy and I'm not gonna show you pouring it in because I do take it outside to pour the epoxy in, but you know, basically you're just gonna fill your mold up and you wanna make sure that you're going all the way around it on both sides. So see here as I'm fitting it in, you know, make sure that you've got it in nice and straight and even. So I'm really excited to demold this guy. Let's see what we got. Oh, that is so cute. So the only thing with this is, see, I didn't um, make sure it was pushed down even. But otherwise, that turned out adorable. And the top is good. I'll let it dry just a little bit and like maybe take my whirly gig to the edges just a hair. But otherwise, the top turned out really good. Of course, the bottom did. And I also think that maybe next time I'll put it upside down so that this is the top. Well, and I guess depending on how you want to wear it, for other people to see it or for yourself to see it. But that turned out really, really cute. I'm so upset at myself for not let, making sure that this was even all the way down. I think that maybe initially it was because I feel like I would have noticed that, but it probably, you know, came up. Like I think as it's drying, you probably need to go in and check it and make sure that it didn't pop up. You know what I mean? But this turned out super cute. All right, let's just, We'll let it finish drying and I'll see you back in a few minutes. 